What's going on everyone, Juan Valdez here and today in this video I wanted to show you guys three simple ways that you can research some of your competitors ads. Now uh, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I have found it to be very beneficial for me to research uh, different ads that have worked before for any kind of products I'm testing, right? And the reason why is because I haven't been able to narrow down, you know, either um, if I should be using images or pictures for the ads, what kind of copy I should be using, and headlines that have worked in the past, and some that are working up to date. And obviously, these are things that can be very beneficial before you launch any Facebook ad campaigns because these are some of the key components that go into, you know, some of the ads that you guys are going to be running. So uh, I actually have to get a workout in here in a second, so I'm going to be heading out, so I'm just going to jump right into the content. So the first way you can spy on some of your competitors' ads is using the Facebook search bar. Now, using the Facebook search bar or the Facebook search bar is a lot more powerful than you think. Obviously, there's a lot of things you can search up on there. Uh, I was already looking up an example here of hiking, but I'll refresh the page. Uh, I'm using my Pegasus page. Uh, here's an example page, but uh, usually, when I'm going to be using the Facebook search bar, I kind of narrow down some things to research, right? So I like to research, for example, let's say um, you know, you're in the hiking space or I'm in the hiking space. I like to start researching just the niche overall, right? So I like to you know, kind of look up hiking and I like to save and screenshot what the results that load up, like the pages that load up in the groups. Uh, just for future reference, make sure you guys stay till the end of this video so I can show you guys some other ninja tactics that you can use uh, when it comes to you know Facebook ads as well why you want to save this information that comes up from the Facebook search bar now uh, after loading this up I'll honestly I'll just say this information if this the Facebook search bar works wonders when you narrow down specific products as well so for example if we go on AliExpress and we look up let's just look up you know outdoor right or we could even look up uh, hiking let's look up hiking so we stay just very relevant we look up hiking Usually the things that work really well in the Facebook search bar, again, are um, the niche niche name, um, specific products or offers. Uh, you guys can usually search those up. So if you type in hiking, I go to orders to see what kind of products I've had a ton of orders. So it looks like this outdoor military tactical shoulder camping bag has a lot of orders, right? So I'll just look this up, camping bag or military. Yeah, we'll do, let's do hiking bag. Let's see how if anything comes up for that hiking bag. So it looks like this one came up right here. And it looks like this is an ad they have, but we can, you know, if you go to load all, you'll get more that come up. And you can see right here, these are ads that are on here that people are running. And these are different posts they have made. So these look more just like general posts. We want to find like specific ads if possible. So it'll take, it usually takes some time. Sometimes like for different products, you know, some you can find a lot faster than others, but it looks like this one might be an ad. Boom. So this is an ad right here. Obviously this ad is being ran in a different language and I want to get a better one, but here's a perfect example, right? You can find specific bags. That one wasn't the same one that we found on AliExpress, but if you keep looking, I'm pretty positive you'll be able to find some for that hiking bag. Um, obviously, I don't want to keep you guys on this page all day, but you can see other things, right? Like other bags that are being posted and a lot more. And usually I like to do this to find specific products. Usually, if, right now, if I was on like, you know, research mode and when I was, when I'm really researching and trying to find different ads for a specific product, I'd spend some more time on it. But just for this sake, obviously it's an example and I want to get through everything with you guys. Uh, this is how I would look for the products, right? I look for these ads, I'd click on them, and then I would screenshot them. Screenshotting is something you guys always want to do with ads that you find that are doing really well, because it's gonna, uh, it's gonna be very, it's gonna be very beneficial in the long run. So, this is what I would do, and then from there, another thing you guys can also search up is a hiking bag, and then just pay shipping. This will show you any free plus shipping offers that are being ran, maybe for. Not that specific bag, but some other hiking bags, right? And you can even, um, you can either shorten this for hiking, just pay shipping, right? And see what pops up. And you can see different hiking products that people are running um, offers on. You can see there's a t-shirt right here for print on demand and a lot more. And obviously, this doesn't only 
go for like hiking, let's say, uh, you can look up any kind of ads actually for free plus shipping and see what kind of free plus shipping ads people are running. Usually for a uh, Facebook search bar, you can get a lot of information if you search a niche because you can find uh, big fan pages and groups that you can then target later on. Uh, and that's obviously super helpful. And you can also, you know, then go in those groups and like get data from in there, see what kind of products people are talking about, what kind of things people are talking about and a whole lot more. But also the Facebook search bar works really well, usually for specific products because usually the ads pop up uh, for these specific products rather than just like general if you just put just pay shipping you're gonna get all kinds of free plus shipping ads so that was the first method using the Facebook search bar uh, the next method is me just changes here next method is going on a different Facebook fan pages and or different websites that you already know of that you know some of your competitors that you already know if you already know different Shopify stores um, or other brands that are selling similar products to what you're selling, you can go on their Facebook fan pages and check ads that are being ran from their fan page. So if you go here, I've also talked about this before, but I wanted to show you guys like how I do it. So if, for example, I go on this survival club, let's see, this is, I think this is a pretty big page. No, no you're not. Well, if you type in survival, right? Survival, it's still a similar space. Survival, hiking, they're not too far apart. Um, Let's just say you click on everything prepping and survival. Not all of these pages are gonna be running ads and people aren't gonna be running ads from these pages or selling things from these pages, but sometimes they do. So something like this is a closed group, but let's say, you know, um, tactical. Let's look up tactical bags, right? So right here you can see an ad came up. Um, okay, it looks like this is an ad right here. Military tactical bag. So then I, you can go. This isn't the same product, but it's a similar product. You can go to their page, go to info and ads. Uh, for some reason, it's not showing up. Sometimes it does that, but even in this case, right? You can see that this ad. Uh, you can see that this ad right here has 400. Let's click on it, right? It has. Come on, load up, my internet's a little slow. Let's see. Oh, you wanna click on the post here. So it looks like it has 280 comments, 23 shares, and 304 likes in July 29th. So uh, that, that's pretty good engagement so far. You can see some of the other ads that are here as well being ran. Uh, these actually might be regular posts. They might not be sponsored posts. You might have to keep looking, but uh, this is definitely an ad that this looks like an ad that's being ran here uh, And you can see again the copy things like that now. I usually I like to find ads that uh, Have a ton of engagement right T ads that are just complete crushing it. So to give you guys a better example. Let's just search up uh, Tactical backpacks, right? Let's just keep searching here. I want to show you guys like a good example Well, let's see uh, what other products we can potentially look for Oh, I know which one you can look for, actually. Tactical watch. I think I've seen this before. So, tactical watch. So, this is an, um, a product that I've seen a while back, like people really promoting. Now, they might not be promoting it as much. Let's look up um, something like outdoor watch. So this looks like some exam, but I want to find one that has like a ton, a ton of engagement. So, okay, let's just find it. So usually what I would do is if I, you know, it takes some time to do this, but uh, obviously it still ends up being worth it. But um, let's see here. Let's look up uh, survival. I think we already looked up. Let's look up hiking watch. And see if something comes up for that. This next method that I'm going to show you guys of how to find competitors' posts is going to make this a lot easier because you will start to. It will be a lot easier for you to find ads in whatever niche or whatever kind of product ads you want to find ads for, or whatever kind of products you want to find ads for. So. Yeah, basically I would go through here. This next part 
that I'm gonna go show you guys this next method will make this a whole lot easier because you'll start seeing a lot more ads more frequently. But uh, basically, you wanna make sure that when, if you search a specific product, you spend some time looking through the ads, you find the ads that have the best engagement, you know, tons of shares, likes, and comments, and you screenshot those ads uh, because obviously those are ads that have been that have done well before. Then what you want to do is go through that ad and go through and see if there's any recent comments like within this week, in the last week, in the last two weeks, or even 30 days to see if it's an ad that is still running because it is, that's usually a good sign. So that's one of the things I like to do, but this next method it will make finding ads for your niche a lot easier so uh, the next thing you want to do is I, I don't want you guys to think that i'm just skipping over it i just didn't find any um like nothing really popped up i think it's because this uh this facebook page doesn't really have any interest uh, or any data on the things that i'm interested in so it's not really pushing any ads my way usually my on my personal facebook page or if you guys use and check your own facebook fan pages if you type in anything any kind of products like things will load up a lot more because they know your you know your interest and things like that so I think that's why Facebook isn't really you know looking out for the boy right now but anyway so this next method uh, you can google a niche or product you want to find ads for and visit all these websites and that pop up on Google so for example if I go to Google what you do is you go on Google and I'll type in like hiking but what you then want to do, you want to make sure that you and you end your Google searches with myshopify.com. So it loads up all stores. Now I'm gonna just uncover the rest of this. You can also do without my Shopify. So you can uh, find competitors that aren't on Shopify, like actual brands. And I'd recommend for you to do that as well, so you can kind of get some insight on them. But hiking and then my Shopify. Pretty sure it's supposed to be. Well, here you go. So you can start seeing like, these are all different Shopify pages, right? And I'm guarantee you guys, some of these or a majority of these are probably drop shipping. So what I would do is like, go here, open link, a new tab, go here, open link, a new tab, open link, a new tab. And I would go through all of these. And what's gonna happen is, um, as long as all these pages have a Facebook pixel and they're running ads, well, you'll then start to get hit with some of the, these ads that they are running, right? And what you can do, if you wanna make sure that these pages actually have Facebook pixels installed, what you can actually do, um, just gonna uncover this part, is you can actually download this Google plugin. It's called Facebook Pixel Helper, and it'll pop up, uh, I believe in the top right here, I think it's this one, and it'll show you if the specific website you're on has a Facebook pixel installed and usually if it does then they're usually running ads so that's a good rule of thumb so and uh, th by the way this Facebook pixel helper is a completely free Google extension and so you guys can download it. it's completely free I already have it on mine so I can't really go through and download it but you guys can download it and so what you're gonna do after you go through I'm just gonna actually uncover the rest of this to kind of go through it after you go through all these pages if you spend time to actually go individually and like go through their home page and their product pages when you then go back to your new facebook news feed and instagram feed you'll start seeing ads that they're running right there because they're probably running ads to their page visitors and they're probably running retargeting ads to everybody that visits a product page and then leaves the website right and so what you want to do after you go through all these news feeds uh, well, after you go through all these websites is really spend some time on your newsfeed uh, waiting for these ads to pop up I guarantee you guys they're gonna pop up regardless like usually even if you talk about you know the products or specific kind of products you'll see ads pop up on your Facebook feed or Instagram feed that's how crazy it is nowadays but you want to spend some time going through and just finding all the ads that come up and then screenshotting them, right? Screenshotting the ones that have the most engagement again likes comments and shares on Instagram probably the one um, you want to screenshot the ads that have the most comments and likes because uh, obviously that's what shows really on Instagram. But uh, what you can also do is download this Turbo Ad Finder. It's a free tool that removes all regular posts from your Facebook news feed. And so what that's going to do is obviously uh, some of you guys may not have like test pages like this Pegasus page that I have made. And you're probably going to be using your personal news feed to research ads. And so what you can do is you download this, um, again, what's it called? Turbo Ad Finder, I actually just started using it. So Turbo Ad Finder, and what it's gonna do is on your Facebook newsfeed, it's literally gonna 
eliminate all the regular posts from like friends, families, all different kinds of posts, and it's only gonna show you ads specifically. So that'll make it a lot easier for you to narrow down ads that are being ran from all these different websites. And so what you can do is screenshot ads that are being ran for not only these drop shipping sites but you can also look up different brands and competitors in the space that you're planning on you know testing either a specific niche or specific kind of products different competitors and go to their websites as well same process so type in hiking without my shopify hiking i kind of misspelled it there so if you look up hiking We can look up, let's do like uh, hiking products. Uh, I know that REI is actually a huge one because uh, when I, sometimes when I go after different camping products, so this is some of the, this is one of the interests I actually go after. So REI, if you come on here, you spend some time on their website and you also go and look at different products. Um, actually, let me double check here. So look, you can see right here, Facebook ad, Helper, they do have a Facebook pixel installed, so boom, you already know that. That way you don't waste your time also going on websites that don't have a Facebook pixel, like actually looking around their website. Now I know that if I go on this website and I look around and I don't buy anything, they're probably gonna hit me with retargeting ads or regular page visitor ads. And so that's what you guys wanna do. And so uh, I hope all that makes sense. You wanna oh, take the time to you know do this I guarantee you guys this is going to be a game changer because it was a game changer for me. It's going to make you guys running Facebook ads a lot more efficient and beneficial uh, and also make it so you don't have to spend a ton of money testing to find things out that you could have already figured out before testing your ads, right? So uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you guys got any value from this video, I'd appreciate it if you dropped a like for the boy. And if you guys have any questions about anything that I went over, just drop them in the comments below. And of course, I'll get back to you guys. And if you haven't already, make sure you join the, the VFAM, smash that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so that you guys are always notified. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, head into the gym.